Harold Carmichael. Well, obviously, Harold Carmichael is underrated. Every Philadelphia fan knows that. He's looking for Carmichael. He takes it at the five. He's in for a touchdown. I think the greatest receiver in the history of the Philadelphia Eagles is Harold Carmichael. Harold Carmichael dominated, absolutely dominated the game in his era. Carmichael also dominates the Eagles' record books. Despite playing his last game in 1983, he still holds the franchise records for catches, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. And in 1980, he set the NFL record for consecutive games with a catch. 127 games with the catch. Games with the catch. That's hard. That was not an era in which receivers had the same number of targets that they get today. That's a remarkable accomplishment. Who would you rather throw to? Would you rather throw to a guy that's a running back coming out of the backfield? Would you rather throw to a, a 6'1 guy? Or how about the 6'8 monster running down the field? I'll throw to that guy. I grew up in Philly watching the Eagles, and Harold Carmichael was the biggest football player you'd ever seen in your life. I'm standing here talking to perhaps the tallest wide receiver in the National Football League, Harold Carmichael. Do you know how tall he was? He was 6'8". 6'8"? Six, eight. Six, eight? Harold Carmichael 6'8"? Think about that. He was an NBA power forward. Imagine lining up and looking up to Harold Carmichael. And he was unguardable in the end zone. He was the ultimate end zone weapon. Made my job easy. I mean, I knew where Harold was going to be. The minute we'd get inside the five-yard line, no matter what we had called, we had some sort of signal. We called it meet me at the corner. Even great defense couldn't stop Harold Carmichael. Oh my God, and, and the thing about Harold Carmichael, and I'm surprised the Eagles probably wouldn't let him on the list because who did he have his last reception with? Dallas Cowboys. He played two games, he had one catch for seven yards. You know how much he'd like to get rid of that one catch? That is the blemish on his record. The fact that Harold's numbers still, you know, stand up as number one with the Eagles organization, when you think of the plethora of wide receivers that have gone through this town, Harold's still number one, that says a lot about what he did. Jaworski throws the pass for Carmichael at the five! Touchdown, Eagles! Harold Carmichael is a great, great receiver, and I don't think really gets his just due in the ranks of the NFL, not just the Eagles. He was a great Eagle, but I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. The view from above is nothing new for the acrophobic Carmichael. He spent 14 years looking down on the men trying to cover him. Being 6'8", and you got 5'8", uh, defensive back, it was always an advantage. We used to talk about down the chimney, meet me at the corner, whatever I had to do, to get rid of my guy, I would meet him right at the power. To see this guy going across the middle, running from one sideline to the other, and then reach back and catch a ball with one hand away from where he's running, it was just amazing. He'd beat the throw, and the throw was errant, and he'd just reach back, catch it with one hand. Amazing. Carmichael's road to the NFL was not as clear as his view of Philadelphia is now. He was drafted in the seventh round out of Southern University in Louisiana. The two-sport star began his NFL career as a tight end. Six foot eight, 219 pounds. Linebackers would get me like I was just laundry and just shaking me and throwing me away. And uh, I'm saying, oh, get me out of this down in the tight end spot. Miscast, Carmichael was moved to wide receiver and ascended to his greatest heights as a pro. He led the league in 1973 in both receptions and yards. His size made him nearly unstoppable downfield, but his ability to run after the catch gave rise to the quick screen. They run it differently now. They run it, what call it the bubble screen and stuff like that. It, where we ran it, I would take a step up and come back, and when I come back, the lineman was pulling out, and then I would, you know, stop maneuvering. Sixty-seven catches led to league back up fullbacks are catching those these days. Unbelievable. In an era where the average offense was barely passing for 3,000 yards 
and the league's leading wide receiver was catching fewer than 80 passes. Carmichael became the NFL's most reliable pass catcher. In 1979, he broke the NFL record of 105 consecutive games with a catch.